Hey guys, it's me. So, um, I'm here in my bathroom changing my hermit crabs, like, food and water and everything. So basically what I do is I just, like, here's the green lid that goes on top and it has a little hole right here for his food. Looks like this. It has like little stuff to climb on, somewhat. And I mean basically what I do is I just like pop off the green lid and I take some food out and I use the Hermit Crown food from Zoo Mio. Looks like this. It has a yellow cap on it. Um I use that and I just Basically, I, I mean, I just pop the lid off, and I get a little sprinkle, sprinkle out. When you buy it, it should look like this, if you get the kind that I use. They're just like little brown pellets. No, it's not his poop. Um, I don't know what his poop looks like. I haven't seen any of his poop. Huh, spoke too soon because... Huh? Can you see it? Can you see it there? I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it or not, but they're little brown things. I spoke too soon. You can't see his poop. Huh. I've never noticed that before. So, and then I have a little seashell. Like this, that I, this is where I put his food. But, and then I have one identical to this that he's actually sitting on right now. It's like this. And I just put a little cotton ball in there, because you're supposed to use a sponge, but he tore up all of his sponges, but can't really tear up a cotton ball that well. And I just, like, dump all the dried up old food in the toilet, you know, because it crumbles very easily, and it's very easy to, like, go down the toilet, you know. So, basically, like, usually, like, once a month, I'll, like, wash this thing out just to get it fresh. So, basically, just fill it. I basically just, like, fill it here. Oh, let me see. This is, this is my sink. I usually... Just fill it with some water. I usually let it run for about, I don't know, 20, no, 15, 20 seconds. Um, that's not good. And then I just like kind of jostle it through there. Usually all the like, the crumbs and stuff or whatever is on the bottom. So I just like, run it through here. And actually I got this case at, um, I think, Pet Store. Like, the Pet Emporium or whatever. some pet store, I think, um, just there a couple times, and I dump it in the toilet, toilet, so, now, be sure to make, be sure to, when you do that, when you dump in, there's no cleaning stuff, or it's not full, you know, it's clean, it's regular, you know, it's okay, make sure that it's like that, it's so basically, now it's clean, see, now it's so clean. It's got little droplets of water. And I have this little thing that I actually bought for my fish, but his bowl is not big enough for me to put these things in here. Just a little castle. Little seaweed algae thing. Then I have these two little seashells. One is for his food, one for is for his water. Um, here's him. He's drinking it. Water here. He's so cute. He's never pinched me. He has pinched my mom, but he has not pinched me. Um, so basically what you want to do is you just want to take just a few, maybe, depending on how many and what size you have. I just have one. He's like a medium size, like a kind of small one. 
steak. Maybe with that much food, put it in there. And then you just want to get a few drops of water on it. Don't like soak it to death and don't like dry it out completely. Just get like a few little drops of water and then just that just that's moistened. Can you think about it guys? I mean he's a hermit crab. He's not a desert crab. Crabs these kind of crabs they live in the ocean. Okay, so that's what it looks like now. It's moist. Can't see that it's moist. Put his food and water in the same place so that it's all like in one place, you know. So now I'm gonna put them in the same place. I don't know. Can you see that? That one over here that he's not in is his food. He's on his water right now. I forgot to change it yesterday. Um, so I just put the little castle in here. Maybe put this, scatter this grass over here. So that now he has like stuff to climb on and all that, you know? So then I just close it up and then I pop lid back on here. Pop this back on. Then I stick his food in this little hole that's up here. See? This little circle. Put it in there. Now you might have a different kind of crab or you might like need different kinds of food than I use. So I do recommend you maybe go into like a pet store or something or wherever you bought it. Um, make sure to like ask questions about what type it is and stuff if you do want to care for a hermit crab because they are a lot to take care of. It's like a dog. It's not like, well it's not very much work. You just You have to have the right stuff to take care of them or they can die very easily because it's like a dog. I mean, or like any kind of pet. I mean, you don't. It just depends what kind of pet it is. I mean, you don't keep a dog in a cage all day like you would maybe a pair or something. I mean, I know some people that, like, let their birds fly around, and that's okay. But maybe if you have, like, whatever kind of bird you have, you maybe need to keep it in a cage if you're, like, live in an apartment or something. Um, it just depends, you know. Everybody's pet's different, but this is how I take care of mine. Um, I just got my crab in Myrtle Beach in South Carolina, and that is in the United States, because I know some YouTube visitors are not in the United States, so yeah. Okay. Alright. Bye!